Sprint and T-Mobile announced on Sunday that they had reached a deal to merge, moving to create a new telecommunications giant, and betting that regulators would finally allow the American wireless service market to shrink to just three national players. The new company, which would keep the T-Mobile name, would have nearly 100 million retail subscribers. That would give the combined businesses serious heft in a fight against Verizon and Net. Sprint and T-Mobile have tried repeatedly to merge, arguing that combining is the only way they can compete. Their previous two attempts, though, have failed, in 2014 because of opposition from regulators in the Barack Obama administration, and last year because of disagreements over control of the unified company. The question this time is whether Washington regulators, even under a Trump administration that has sometimes looked more favorably on mergers, will allow one of the most transformative consolidation effort in years to take place. Critics worry that shrinking the American wireless industry to just three providers would lead to higher prices for consumers, though the companies, in their announcement of the deal, argued that a merged company would provide U.S. consumers and businesses with lower prices, better quality, unmatched value, and greater competition.